One of the things I like best about digital painting is playing with the brushes. Some of my favourites are the ones that can blend at the same time as laying down the colour, which is common enough with real paint but not always with digital. Some of the better ones can feel nice and natural and get some good results that happen to suit my painting style, but there is a problem with that. If you've seen the previous video about my favourite painting method, you might guess what's coming. The problem is, this method is based on doing flat colours first, and then blending afterwards. In other words, it actively avoids painting and blending at the same time. So my favourite painting method is the exact opposite of my favourite type of brush. So does that mean we have to just throw away all the fun stuff and use the absolute basics? Well, yes. And then no. See, the method of starting with flat colours and then blending separately isn't about the brushes. It's about solving the main problems of the picture in a fast and easy to change way, and then doing the fun stuff once we're ready. This means that after we've solved the main problems, we can use any brush we want. Of course we can use any brush we want before then as well, it's just not always a good idea, like I talked about in the first video. Let's say I want to add a pair of ears. Here's one way it can work. First I work out the basic shape with a flat colour until I get what I'm after, which solves that particular problem. At this point I would usually keep using flat colours until I can figure out which colours I want to use, but in this case I've already figured them out, like the shadows and the highlights and so on, while I was painting the body. So now I can just grab those colours off the body and use them for the ears, choosing a brush that blends as it paints. This could be a quick way to do things like highlights, where you only need one or two colours, and each attempt only takes a few seconds. It could work on large areas as well, like skies, where a mixing type brush with just a couple of colours might be a lot faster than a few bands of flat colour, which then have to be blended. It all depends on the situation. That's just one type of brush though. Your style is most likely different from mine, so the brushes you like best might be different as well. The point is that there's room to use whatever brushes you like, even if you use the flat colour process. I mean, some brushes are just too good to leave out. Like the hairbrush. <laughs> 